So the first card is don't be swayed by other people's opinions. Follow your own course. So that should be uh, something that you should be doing. Don't listen to what anybody's got to say. You have got all the information with you. So just follow whatever you need to do. Um, you're, you, know, you know exactly what you want from life. So balance your life and center yourself. And in this way, uh, you know, you'll, you'll know exactly which pathway to follow. If you're, ha you know, if you're overstressed, make sure that you are delegating. You've got the lion over here. So, you know, uh, take your, make sure you're acting with confidence and delegate. Don't be, uh, you know, um, swamped under by all the work. Don't try to do everything yourself, in other words. So you've got a lot of stress and deadlines in the last few months that you've been meeting. And, um, you know, maybe you've been moonlighting a bit. So you, maybe you've got a second job that you're doing. Uh, maybe you're going through a situation of temporary unemployment. And this has caused a lot of stress. Uh, and, uh, you know, maybe you, you're doing too many things at one time over here. So you need to de-stress a little bit. So going into the future, you've got happiness and satisfaction coming in for you and an emotionally charged situation. Don't lose your temper. So if you're being very stressed out, try to count to 10 if anybody upsets you. You know, this is usually the time uh, where, you know, people expect things to be done very quickly in a hurry. There's a lot of stress going on. So try not to get yourself upset if you end up encountering an emotionally charged situation. But all in all, a lot of happiness and satisfaction coming in for you here. So those are the energies for that those two weeks so you've got the six of cups over here and you might have been feeling very stuck in that old job that you're doing or stuck in your life really uh you know with the six of cups it's like doing the same kind of job over and over again and nothing moving for you and you know you've reached a point where you're not listening to what anybody's got to say you've got this man's hands over his um ears over here and you know you are quite fed up of doing that particular job you might be very very bored at you know doing the same thing over and over again you might be feeling that time is passing you by you're just aging in that job and nothing is moving so this is, uh, you know, feeling a bit upset, miserable. Uh, you're looking to the future to make some kind of change, but you've been doing the same job over and over again for years, and it doesn't seem like, you know, it's getting you anywhere. Maybe there's no promotions coming in, or maybe there's, you know, you, you're not moving forward, and I think this is, might be upsetting you a bit. So because of that, you've got the Fool coming in and the Five of Cups. So it looks like, you know, um, with this uh, Six of Cups, uh, it's being crossed by this Five of Cups over here. So it seems like, you know, you're not moving in this job. You feel very, very miserable because you haven't achieved things that you wanted to achieve. You've got the spilt cup over here. So this is a card of regret and being haunted by your past, really, the things that could have been. And, um, you know, you're seeing that this job that you are in is not going anywhere and you are regretting the things that you didn't do. So, you know, you're worried, you, you're crying, oh, this cup is spilt over here, you know, this the, it's spilling blood here, so it's almost like your life is flowing out of you, and you, you know, you're getting old, and you're not doing, haven't done the things that you, you did, so you, it's a card of regret, and it's haunting you, uh, you know, you want to try and get out of this particular feeling, but, uh, you know, it's giving you maybe sleepless nights, uh, you know, maybe nightmares as well, that you haven't done the things that you've done, and you're stuck in a particular situation. So that's why the fool has come in over here and it seems like you want to start something brand new. You want to start a brand new cycle and now it, maybe you've uh, put in applications for new jobs or new career path. You're weighing or some options over here. You, you, you know, you've um, uh, accrued a lot of experience in this particular job. You've got from life actually because a lot of people revere you they they, th they think that you're pretty good at what you did or, or what you've done or all the experience that you've um, managed to accumulate over the years uh, and now you want to start something brand new you've got the sun coming out from behind the clouds over here so you've got this new idea and this new lease of life you've also got the sun rays coming in over here so you've got this new energy to start something brand new and you want to go somewhere else or do something else where you get a lot more fame or you get a lot more recognition for what you did did and you know you're starting something brand new he's got two eggs in his hand so he's starting he wants to something start something really brand new uh two options two thoughts um uh, you know, and he's trying to make a decision weighing which one he wants to go so it looks like you want to start something brand new uh because you're pretty much uh you know feeling very stagnant or or you feel like something you know maybe life is passing you by and you don't want to end up uh just doing that for the rest of your life.
So in the last year, you've got the death card over here. So it looks like you are looking for some kind of transformation. Uh, you know, maybe that old job, you are feeling like it's, uh, you know, you're very tied up in it. You've got uh, this mummy in the sarcophagus over here, wrapped in bandages over here. Maybe, you, you know, you don't feel like it's, you know, you, you don't feel like you've got any more life left in you, really. Uh, you want to rise above the situation. You want the situation to end and you want to move on to something else. Uh, you know, start something brand new. Um, you know, you feel like this particular uh, position that you are uh, is not where you want to end up being. It's, it's not, uh, it, it, it's, you know, you're at a dead end job, really. That's how you're feeling at the moment. And you want to rise above it as well. So the death card coming in. So you want to make that big change. Or maybe that big change has come in for you as well. And you've got, it's followed by the Ten of Swords. So some crisis. So you want to make this change and some crisis has come in that has ended this kind of situation. So maybe this is a job loss or, you know, because the Ten of Swords is you always about loss, um, uh, endings of situations, something very dramatic, some kind of crisis that ends things completely that causes, uh, you know, a lot of people maybe around you to lose your job. So maybe lose their jobs as well. So maybe the position that you're working or the post that you're working in, in or that company that you're working in has dissolved and now you have to now make that big change especially the death card coming in as well as the ten of swords there's a complete loss maybe you have gone through a financial loss as well and this is why after that the full card comes in where you have to start something new you're being forced to go and start something brand new now uh, you've got the two of cups over here so you are seeking advice from somebody who is very supportive and you are looking to the future to make some kind of move uh, you want to um, you've got that support somebody is there so maybe uh, the company did dissolve and maybe you and another colleague are moving forward into the future uh, you're making plans for the future over there uh, but it looks like there was some big crisis where things ended quite dramatically and quite suddenly now you've got the Ace of Swords. You're waiting for some kind of news to come in, uh, and you, it looks like there, you know, there's a lot of uh, difficulties. So you're going through a very, very difficult situation with this Ace of Swords. You will sort out those problems. So whatever news or whatever, uh, maybe there's legalities that you're dealing with, some kind of legal situation, some kind of official situation, and you will be able to sort this out. Maybe it wasn't going in your in your favor. You've got the snake over here. But you will sort it out. You are the cat here. This is the sign of Leo. And, uh, you know, the cat is going to eat the snake or going to kill the snake. So whatever problems or battles you have, you are going to sort it out and you are going to be victorious. And that's going to allow you to move forward. So the Ace of Swords, whatever news that is very nasty, because this is um, the Ace of Swords brings in a news that is, uh, you know, sometimes can be very challenging. Whatever problems it brings in, you will be able to sort it out. And if think people are saying things about you or there's some kind of problem that you're involved in, you will be able to conquer that situation. You've got the Seven of Swords over here. So it looks like, you know, whatever deception, lies uh, or problems that you have been facing with the Seven of Swords, it comes to light. So it looks like, you know, you're very depressed about something that happened, something being said, some sort of information that has caused you to have uh, you know people to look at you as though you know you're the one that caused the problems or you're the one that you know uh, there was a lot of lies and deceit that is going on and maybe there's a loss of reputation over here but there's a new cycle beginning there's somebody that's going to come and rescue you from that situation you must be careful you know there's a lot of crocodiles in this uh, river over here so a lot of people around you not being very nice and with this ten of swords over here you know it, it's usually a card of, of great deception um you know vindictive behavior uh, usually you know everybody's got swords in their back so stabbed in the back kind of situation maybe that's how you've been ended up losing your job or losing that particular post and with the seven of swords it's talking about deception lies cheating but all of this is coming to light so you're going to begin a new cycle and you will get over it you're very very upset about what has been said you can see there's a lot of swords lying on the deck of this boat and there's a lot of crocodiles over here so a lot of people saying things and nobody being very very supportive of you so it's a it's a very nasty situation that you're dealing with and also it looks like it was very nasty because you've got the, the cat trying to uh, kill the snake here so uh, a lot of poisonous things were said, um, you know, a very toxic situation that you've been dealing with, but you are going to be very victorious over it. You've got the six of wands over here, so you are going to be victorious 
victorious definitely six uh, six of wands is a card of victory of recognition and you're going to move on into a better position a better post where you will be in charge you will be very victorious and you'll be working very very hard uh, a very technical field that you'll be working with but it looks like you know somebody's there to help you uh, along the way as well so hopes and fears card, you want to start something brand new. Uh, you want something to give you that satisfaction. You want that uh, job satisfaction and you're looking to find that. This is what your hopes are. <coughs> so going to the future, you've got the Ten of Cups, the Chariot and the Five of Pentacles. So with the Ten of Cups, uh, you know, you are worried about uh, um, finances as far as your family life goes, uh, uh, providing for your family. This is something that has been playing on your mind. But with the Ten of Cups, it's usually the end of a difficult situation and the beginning of something brand new. So it looks like, you know, you are going to be able to get a, a, a job or position where you are being uh, able to, um, you know, um, cater for your family's needs or, or support them. And there is abundance coming in. You can see there is this table with all this food on it. So, you know, you will not be in a position of poverty. You will be able to support your family so that old problems are sorted out with the ten of cups it's the ending of all the problems that you've been going through you've got the cha uh, the chariot card over here so moving to the future with victory so there's an achievement card you will be victorious and you can see this man is really uh you know flying into the future and very victorious so whatever position or problem that you went through with the ten of cups it's the end of that difficult cycle with the chariot it's a card of achievement it's a card of victory you know it, it could be a card of moving home or moving uh to go and find, do your job somewhere else do a job somewhere else but it is a card of achievement and being very victorious and with this five of pentacles over here it looks like you know try not to let, uh, you know, all the stress that you're going through affect your health. You can see this person over here is, you know, laid out a little bit. So you might be going through some stress-induced illness at the moment. Uh, you know, so you do need to de-stress. You know, all these financial worries, it looks like you've got a lot of financial worries going on and it's starting to affect your health. But you are going to be achieving. So you are going to be victorious. So try not, not to let all these problems affect your health. Uh, you know, all this, uh, you know, financial issues uh, might be something that's um, causing you to have, um, uh, you know, um, this illness. So try to fight it, take some vitamins, take some supplements. If you need to seek medical intention, make sure that you are doing that. But don't let it, uh, you know, get you down uh, to such an extent uh, that, you know, it confines you to the bed. So make sure that you're looking after your health as well. But all in all, there is victory. You are going to be um, victorious in the situation and there is an ending of all those old problems. So know that you are going to be victorious and allow that to uh, uh, let you move forward, uh, you know, positively. Don't be upset. You are dealing with a very difficult situation. It seems like things were really bad, uh, but you will start a brand new cycle. So don't regret so the first card is the Hermit card, which says, uh, find a mentor, take a break from society, a commitment to your a spiritual uh, um, path or growth. So the Hermit card is a card ruled by Virgo. So you are facing some stress-related illnesses as well, because Virgo is the card that rules the health, and you need to take some time out to recover uh, your health back. Uh, you don't want um, that to be the thing that prevents you from going forth and working. So time and need to take some time out and recover. There is a judgment pending for you. So time to review the details carefully. You will, you will win in the end. Uh, fair and objective decisions. So it looks like you are waiting for some kind of legal decision to come out, come in. Maybe there's some kind of pay, payment um, for um, you know losing your job or uh, uh, compensation for what had happened. It looks like you were in a very difficult situation, and this is also talking about a legal situation with a cat uh you know conquering the snake it looks like you will win that legal decision as well and the justice card is saying that you will win uh whatever uh, situation you went through the strength card is also saying you will recover from whatever illness that you went through and uh you know the great uh the grace and inner strength to overcome challenges the power of kindness and forgiveness time to embrace how wonderful you are 
Now with the strength card, it's saying that you will recover any kind of illness that you are going through at the moment. So, uh, and you, you know, uh, you need to just make sure that you're acting with a lot of confidence, um, but you will be able to conquer it. So be positive and have that confidence. You will be able to overcome the situation. So it looks like if you're waiting for a legal decision, it's going to be in your favor. And, um, you know, you need to take some time out, recover from whatever problems you're having. It looks like with the Five of Pentacles, you are so worried about your financial losses or problems that you are having some uh, health issues as well. And you do need to take a little bit of a break and uh, recover from it. With the Chariot card, it says whatever legal situations, if there was a legal situation, you will recover. And um, with the Seven of Swords, whatever lies went out uh, it you know um, it will come to light and there will be somebody that comes and rescues rescues you from that situation. So it looks like if there was some kind of problem uh, with the six of wands as well, that's a victory card as well. So you you know try not to let anything get you down or affect your health like this. You need to take some bre uh, a break and you will be very victorious in this kind in this situation. So it looks like something really bad. Uh, some big crisis happened and it seems to have gone into some kind of legal situation, but you will be victorious in it. Uh, and it looks like you're going to be making a brand new start, something very different uh, in your life coming in.